The Scotland Secretary has announced the UK government's decision to block Holyrood's gender self-ID bill. Alistair Jack exercised powers under the Scotland Act to veto the Gender Recognition Reform Bill, which would have allowed 16-year-olds to change their legal sex by self-declaration in just six months and without a medical diagnosis. In a letter to Nicola Sturgeon, Mr Jack said the bill risked creating significant complications from having two different gender recognition regimes in the UK, including allowing more fraudulent bad faith applications. The First Minister accused Westminster of a full frontal attack on Holyrood and said the Scottish Government would defend the legislation. However, former Supreme Court Justice Lord Hope of Craighead said any appeal stood a very low chance of success. Then the question is, was the Secretary of State acting reasonably in deciding to make the order? And when you look at the reasoning in the document, it's very difficult to see how a court could come to a conclusion to the contrary effect. And that makes me think that actually to go to court and argue it through the various layers of court is, is a mistake. It seems to me risking a lot of time, because it will take a lot of time to go through all the layers of court until you get to the Supreme Court, and also question as, as to whether it's a, a sensible use of public money. In a debate in the House of Commons, Christian MP Miriam Cates said the legislation did not create sufficient safeguards to protect women and children from predatory men. We shouldn't be asking how easy is it for someone who's uncomfortable with their sex to obtain a GRC. We should be asking how easy is it for a predator to get access to children. And I'm afraid this bill would make it vastly easier for a predator to get access to children, to change their sex, to change their gender, with an eye to exploiting loopholes of accessing children um, and women in particular.